We all get them. I get a dozen a day, and we all hate them. I probably get more. Oh, but boy. could you be making money off of those annoying robocalls? CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar is here. Can we, Christine? <laughs> well, you can. And I actually think it's a genius idea. But the real question is do you have the time no, to it. do this? Yeah. <laughs> now, the robocall blocking app, UMail, says Americans got 4.7 billion robocalls last month. But there are some people who actually look forward to getting those calls. We all do it. Avoid that number we think is a robocall. But to this group, what once was a pet peeve is now the sound of cold, hard cash. Here, these 30 people are choosing to spend their Saturday trading tips. Anybody got any comments on that? And together, they've earned nearly $350,000, turning robocalls into cash. Everybody hates robocalls. The common thread is this guy, Doc Compton. He created a $47 kit, and everyone here here, bought it. In his guidebook, Compton explains step by step how to take on robocallers. But here are the basics. First, answer the call. Then, stay on the call. Jot down details like the company's name, website, and callback number. If you spoke to a human, get their name and email address. Anything that will help you verify the company and where it's located. Next, send a demand letter to that company detailing exactly how it violated the law. Two federal laws state a company needs your permission to call your cell with an auto dialer. If they call anyway, that's a $500 violation. And if your number is on the do not call registry, that violation triples. And while a company can ignore your letter, in some cases, they don't. They look at it, it's a cost of doing business. And if they have to pay a, you know, a $1,500 settlement for some of these calls, then oh well. And there's no limit on how many settlements you can receive. 1,500. 9,500. 30,000. That's right, Tom Perry has made $30,000. I feel like I've lost my phone to calls that uh, are unproductive every day. And uh, that's the reason I started uh, requesting these demands uh, on these companies that are calling and breaking the law. Not everyone we talk to has made money. Zero dollars so far. But if you're willing to invest the time and effort, you may be able to turn the tables on robocallers. Now, there are some exemptions to this formal formula, political campaigns, charities, and your health care provider. You can't make money off of them calling you. So it'll take some time, but gosh, that would feel satisfying, right? It if you got to get the check money. in the mail for 3000 bucks, knowing that, you know, a robocaller had to pay you that. Just for annoying you. <laughs> yes. So before work, guys, this is what you can do. How about maybe oh. in retirement? <laughs> or, you know, we, we, could a do, lot of time. we could actually just really get rid of these robocalls. That would and be then nice. we wouldn't have to do this. Yeah. And see, then you companies, you wouldn't have to pay. Yep. Right? Yep. We need more legislation. We need to crack down on these. All right. Are you going to work on it? No, I'll try. <laughs> With all my free time. <laughs> exactly. Hey, can Toy on Your Side help you? Email two on your side at cbs.com. You can tell us about your problem. You could also tweet us. Make sure you use the hashtag two on your side. And Christine will try to help you out.